Hi, I'm David Lamort. This is uh, Catacombs at M Galleries PNA in uh, Washington, New Jersey. This is a culmination of a almost, I guess, decades long project of making these tiny paper skulls. Although I've made them of various sizes, they've gotten pretty small, about palm size now. Um, and I've been doing these since about on and off since 2009. That's why I say decades long, because I haven't really fully committed to them until the past couple of years. And every skull in this room, uh, and I think there's about, there's probably about 2,000 here, um, uh, has been made in 2022, with the exception of my crown, which I made today. Um, and so I've been making them for a while, uh, mostly white ones out of scrap paper or scrap cardstock, but then I expanded it to, to this heart here to try and use the uh, different colored cardstock to to the veins, arteries, and musculature of the anatomical heart. Um, I, I started doing the skulls as a way of trying to represent people without having to draw, draw or capture someone's actual facial features, kind of like a shorthand, and um, I've been doing it ever since. And I've been using them of various sizes. I really like the small size. It allows me to almost use them like pixels or like little pieces of art, like a motif. Um, and actually, I started making a lot of anatomical hearts as a way of trying to slowly pull myself away from doing the skulls. And so to undermine myself, I made a giant heart out of skulls um, because, you know, one day at a time, I guess. I'll have to start tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it's been a really interesting process. It, 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 in some ways, it's meditative. In some ways, it's about making the multiples. But more than anything else, it's about trying to take something that's kind of creepy and maybe in some ways scary and kind of making it cute and disarming it a little bit. I always thought a lot about death because of my last name, meaning the death in Italian. Um, it's always been kind of this weird um, undercurrent a lot in a lot of my work because in some ways death is a very scary idea, but, at some, but also if you look at these skulls, they look like they're smiling because they don't have any lips hiding their teeth, so they always look like they're having a great time. Um, and so I've always kind of been playing with that dichotomy or that juxtaposition between the creepy and the cute. Um, definitely more on the creepy side, though, I think, is kind of where I fall. But I think because of the nature of, you know, being a school teacher, I've kind of sanded off the edges a little bit over time. But, you know, I mean, they are mounted on a canvas that looks like a piece of wood. I mean, how serious can I be taking this? But um, I've always kind of been working with um, paper and cardboard to try and... Um, manufacture things or, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of like remanufacture things, kind of like a brick collage, and then the, the skulls are just kind of the, what I've been focusing on on the past few years.